Election month and the race for mayor in the city of Flint is heating up just days before voters cast their ballots. Mayor Karen Weaver is trying to keep her seat as she seeks a second term, but she does have some competition. TV 5's Rachel McCrary spoke with the mayor about her message for voters heading to the polls. As you know, we've done a lot with, with, with little. We've done a lot with little and made some really good things happen. Four years after being elected, Flint Mayor Karen Weaver claims she's still the best person for the job. Also excited and, and proud about the um, economic development that has happened in the city and the, and the city of Flint really getting economic development to work in partnership with the chamber. We've made a lot of good things happen as far as jobs come into the city. You know, you have to be excited when over 2,000 jobs have come into the city uh, since I've been in office. The former psychologist and first female mayor of Flint was elected in 2015 shortly after the Flint water crisis began. She says they're almost done replacing the lead service lines and will start testing those when they're finished. She says her administration has been working tirelessly on water, the economy, and making sure people have somewhere to live. I'm proud of the housing that's been going up, and it's been going up not just downtown, but, you know, we just had uh, ribbon cutting over by McLaren Hospital. We had groundbreaking not that long ago uh, north of downtown over by uh, where we got the Choice Neighborhood Award. Weaver survived a recall election in 2017 and now she faces off against state representative Sheldon Neely. Beating Neely by over two points in the primary election, Neely questions the ethics and transparency of the Weaver administration, but Weaver denies there's a problem. She says she remains focused on moving Flint forward. I keep telling them that the best is yet to come. I always want to thank the residents for the support that they've shown and the patience in getting through some of these issues and challenges, and I always ask for their vote. In Flint, Rachel McCrary, WNEM TV5. Weaver's challenger, State Representative Sheldon Neely, wishing to commit himself to serving his hometown as mayor, will have more of Neely's message to voters coming up tonight at 6.